Welcome back to ETV. This weekend, the monkeys are coming to town. Did Sean McBride, the movie guy, go bananas over the new Planet of the Apes film? Let's find out. You know, I was just saying that I envy your life, man. I envy yours. I, I wish, wish I, I had, had your life. Be careful what you wish for, because this week's first new movie, The Change Up, takes a familiar story and puts an R-rated comedy twist on it. Jason Bateman and Ryan Reynolds star as an overworked dad and a ladies' man bachelor. And thanks to a little late-night magic, they switch lives and find out that the grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence. What do I tell Jamie when she wants to have sex tonight? You're not having sex with my wife, Mitch. She comes to me like a hurricane. A guy can only withstand so much. Now, Hollywood has made this story a million times before, but the R rating adds a decidedly adult twist to the otherwise standard comedy. Caesar continues to show cognitive skills that far exceed that of a human counterpart. Of course, this week's big movie is The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, a relaunch prequel of sorts that asks what might happen if human scientists tinkering in genetics inadvertently created a race of super monkeys. Stupid monkey. Learn who's boss soon enough. This is probably the last of this summer's blockbuster movies, and it's notable for Andy Serkis, once again donning the motion capture suit that gives the computers the baseline performance on which to model the photorealistically animated apes. When I read it immediately, I thought this is a fantastic character for any actor to play. And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. And now Sean McBride, the movie guy, joins us to tell us about that monkey movie. Yeah, uh, you know, The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, um, kind of an interesting reboot. You know, if you think about the original Planet of the Apes, uh, spoiler alert here, guys, the big reveal at the end is you blew it up. You know, it's sort of the ideas that nuclear Armageddon led to the demise of humans and the rise of the ape. This time, it's kind of a newer idea that genetic modification by scientists, they're searching for a cure for Alzheimer's. Hmm. It leads to these this race of super monkeys and stuff. It's kind of an interesting take on it. Um, and I gotta tell you, it's it's notable for some really great computers, you know, generated characters from the f folks at Weta, who are the guys that did Lord of the Rings and uh, King Kong and all those, you know, characters. It's Andy Serkis again playing the main um, ape Caesar and stuff. Uh, good good thinking man, science fiction, some good action. It's not not the best film in the world, but it's pretty good, good little film. So if I don't want the monkey movie, what are my other options? <laughs> if you want something a little more highbrow, uh, two new flicks over at the flicks. Uh, the first one is The Trip, uh, Michael Winterbottom uh, movie. Uh, Steve Coogan and uh, Rob Brighton. It's basically these two comedians on a road trip. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the other one is Snowflower and the Secret Fan. Uh, Wayne Wang, who's the director of the Joy Luck Club. Uh, it's, it's a novel about two young women in uh, 19th century China and their lifelong friendship. They're, you know, beautiful, it's sort of an exotic location with all the Chinese things. And stuff. Sort of if you like the Joy Luck Club. You Precisely, like yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's got a modern component, but then it keeps going back into 19th century China. So. Very good. And DVDs? DVDs, uh, obviously the big one is going to be Rio. It's coming out this week. But I would say that there are two sports films that are lesser quality that you may want to check out. I mean, if you have kids, you're going to see Rio. Right. But um, The Perfect Game, which is a story about some ragtag uh, Mexican uh, uh, baseball team, um, and them pulling together to win the Little League uh, Championship. Oh, nice. And then also um, The uh, Soul Surfer, which is a story about a young woman who's she's a surfer in Hawaii, has her arm yeah. bit off by a shark, and it's, it's based on the true story about her coming back and uh, learning to surf, and uh, just quite you know, a very Christian movie, quite frankly, also a little schmaltzy at times, but quite uplifting. A uh, good family flick. What the old Disney movies were all about. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and then what's going on in theater? Uh, everything is sort of closing up this week or closed last week. So we have the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee last week, Knock 'em Dead Theater, 3850021 if you want to see this wonderful musical. Uh, I know Shakespeare, uh, they're going for a while still. Uh, they have both Cabaret and The Taming of the Shrew. Can't wait, I'm going to see them next week. 336-9221 for tickets and information. And then Starlight Mountain Theater, God bless those guys who are going all summer long with High School Musical, Singing in the Rain, and How to Succeed in Business. Tickets at 462-5523. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for the update on that, and uh, it's time to, for us to find out about the best of Boise coming up. Very cool. And it's all coming up next on ETV.